नमस्ते गॉज पीपल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई वॉइस स्टिल नॉट ओके बट आपको ये आदत डाल लेनी चाहिए इस आवाज़ की क्योंकि मैंने तो डाल लिया है बिकॉज आई डोंट नो वेन इज इट गोइंग टू गेट फाइन सो आई एम जस्ट कंटिन्यूइंग टू मेक वीडियोज बिकॉज पता नहीं कब ठीक होगा एनी वे दिस वीडियो इज़ गोइंग टू शो यू बेस्ट ऑफ क्योर्स यू माइट हैव ऑलरेडी सीन एंड एक्चुअली यूज दिस ब्रांड बिकॉज फ्यू इयर्स बैक दिस ब्रांड रियली हिडेड ऑफ विद दियर सनस्क्रीन स्पेशली द मिनरल सनस्क्रीन बिकॉज बैक दैन अदर दैन फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज नॉट मैन इंडियन स्किन केयर कंपनीज वर मेकिंग कम्फर्टेबल एलिगेंट सनस्क्रीन फॉर्मुलेशन एंड दिस ब्रांड रियली डिड इट इट गॉज सो फेमस सो फेमस लाइक एवरीबडी वॉज यूजिंग दिस सनस्क्रीन इवन आई कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द हाइप वाई एवरी वन सो दिस ब्रांड क्योर्स हैज बीन ऑल अबाउट मेकिंग vegan and cruelty free formulation that are not just effective but also affordable so i really really like this idea because sunscreen is not something that should be luxury it should be a necessity it should be affordable it should be accessible so we will come back to this famous baby later on and i'll also show you not just this sunscreen but also their other products which are amazing and so 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 by able this includes their tinted sunscreen their hair oil their shampoo bar their moisturizer their face oil which are so worth your every penny so let's just get on with it my first recommendation would be for curly hair which is their oats and flax seed curly hair shampoo bar now they make a couple of shampoo bars but this is the one i have tried and i'm usually not a fan big fan of shampoo bars like a lot of people like really really like shampoo bars but my problem with them is that i have to really rub it on my scalp and hair to get some product out but with this one it was not really that difficult like on wet hair and wet scalp i had to rub it a few times or just on my wet palm and the product transfer was really easy the froth was a lot which i really like i really like my froths i don't know about you but i really like them when the lather was on my scalp and hair my hair and scalp felt really conditioned like as if there's some conditioning agent in this one which is there actually and when i cleansed it off it didn't feel exactly conditioning but a lot more cleansing so this is something that has medium strength of cleansing so not too drying not too cleansing which is great so it's good for dry hair and thin hair as well as well as oily scalp and of prone scalp because it's kind of it's cleansing but if you have really dry and flaky scalp i would rather suggest their lavender and keratin shampoo bar which is especially made for dry flaky itchy scalp what i really liked about cure shampoo bars is they are really affordable like this one is 65 grams and for 249 rupees only usually they are really expensive i don't know for what reason but they are so this was really effective this is affordable so if you are just starting out with your curly hair care journey or you are looking for something that's uh, cleansing but not drying this is something you can definitely Please try. But if you are using shampoo bars constantly, take this tip from me. Shampoo bars sometimes do leave some build up. Not all shampoo bars like this one didn't, but for some hair it might. So use a cleansing shampoo like a deep cleansing shampoo once in 15-20 days, and you can just continue using your shampoo bars as usual. And once you are done using them, clean it, rinse it properly, and then leave it under fan in open air. Do not leave it in the bathroom, otherwise it will just melt with the humid and the you know moist air. Out of all the shampoo bars I have tried so far, this one was the best, I would say. My next recommendation is also for hair and scalp the Cures Hemp Seed Colonji and Babchi Hair Treatment Oil. Now this is for literally everyone, men, women, kids, teens, anyone can use this. It's for straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair, everyone literally can use this. Though the name says Hemp Seed Colonji and Babchi Oil, it literally has 16 17 different oils carrier oils and essential oils it is also infused with six different plant extracts like nettle licorice and anthemul etc so you don't really have to you know purchase everything individually and blend it to have something really nice this has all of it now i'm not the biggest oil person and when i choose to oil i prefer to use lightweight oils like thin oils that are not hard to wash off and i thought this is very thick oil i'm not going to like it but benefit of doubt i started using it and to my surprise this did really impress me this is not really the lightest oil on planet but it's not as thick as castor oil if you, if you are comparing somewhat like olive oil or something lighter than that and this was literally very deep conditioning for hair like when you apply it on your hair it really really softens your hair if your hair is feeling very very rough and tangled and everything and if your scalp is feeling really dry and flaky itchy because of dryness then literally this one will soothe your scalp like anything i was really expecting it to not wash off but it was really easy to wash off with any conditioning soft shampoo and even the shampoo bar i showed you earlier and you have to use literally very small quantity some for scalp good massage and some for the ends mid length to ends don't literally drench your hair and scalp in oil that's of no use that's wastage of oil and wastage of shampoo later and will cause a lot of dryness because overuse of shampoo so yeah use it sparingly 
and it will get the job done i'll promise after hair wash and conditioning and everything once your scalp is all dry you can also take one or two drops on your palm just massage it on your scalp and leave it there this is especially good for dryness those were my recommendation for hair excellent products moving on to face care products starting with the famous baby the mineral sunscreen from kios it's called mattifying mineral sunscreen with spf 30 pa triple plus i have two tubes here but both of them are not same the older one is uh, old formulation and the old formulation even though this one blew my mind off it was slightly liquidy and they literally worked upon the formulations and now the formulation is somewhat like gel cream and and if you have used hybrid and chemical filter sunscreen then you know the dewy gel cream like texture of those really comfortable this is exactly like that except that this is mineral sunscreen and literally leaves no white cast this not just provides uva and uvb protection it also provides blue light protection so you must be wondering what is the hype about mineral sunscreen now the thing is that when you have very sensitive skin if your skin barrier is really damaged and nothing is suiting you or you have acne prone skin and everything is breaking you out or if you have really really oily skin and everything is making your skin really oily or if you are expecting or if you are breastfeeding then usually mineral sunscreens are suggested because these are really really uh, researched upon uv filters so they are really safe for everyone even for sensitive skin and because zinc oxide is also a mattifying ingredient it also keeps your skin really matte so whenever i used to put this sunscreen i'm not really a matte person by the way but i could literally see this thing is literally keeping my skin really matte throughout the day so that was really great which is great for combination and oily skin as well but anyone can use it if you have dry skin you put on some moisturizer before the sunscreen let it all dry and then put up the sunscreen it will be all cool but if mineral sunscreen has so many benefits and it's literally so amazing why everyone is behind chemical and hybrid sunscreens that is because formulating elegant mineral sunscreen is really difficult either it will give you really bad white cast or it will be really chalky really chunky or it will just separate after a few months and you know things like that keep on happening with mineral sunscreen so making a really good mineral sunscreen that's really comfortable and also does not leave crazy white cast it's really difficult in fact i have tried some non-indian korean mineral sunscreens and they left such a huge bad white cast in the name of tone up i never use it second time so cures are literally done the job here try it for yourself and you will know what the hype is all about a lot of people might feel that maybe the brand is lying they have literally put up testing results on their website you can go and see i'll just put it up here as well this is also available on their website also moving on to tinted sunscreen from cures now this one is a hybrid sunscreen which means that this has chemical uv filters and also mineral uv filters but this one is spf 50 pa 4 plus which means it has higher sun protection and this one also has blue light protection i'll show you a video here where i'm putting up this sunscreen on my face and since my neck is covered i took it only two fingers not three only for my face somewhat under the chin it's like cream lotion kind of consistency that is really well easy to apply easy to blend as well however the universal tint in this sunscreen is slightly too warm to orange for my skin tone i do not have cool tone skin i do not have warm it's kind of neutral so this was slightly warm for me and I later on after the sunscreen all settled nicely few minutes later I put on some concealer lighter shade over here over here over here and over here and you can also see in the video it's not really very transferable there's minimal transfer that to wherever I was sweating what I really liked about this sunscreen is firstly it's affordable it's tinted it's maybe too orange but it's workable usually what happens with tinted sunscreen is when you use the required amount two fingers or three fingers they become too pigmented for your skin and they look really bad on your skin this one was really workable it's affordable the rating is really good and it's also mattifying even though i have uh, put on a dewy spray after doing makeup my skin is not really oily it's really hot and i'm really sweating next recommendation is this moisturizer this is the oil free hydrating moisturizer and this is the updated version of their existing moisturizer that one has been discontinued and this one has been launched i've been trying and testing this one since the time this was launched it's been few weeks and every night i put it up it's really calming it's really soothing and i really like that this is not heavy at all i think that's what they meant by oil free this has some oil like this has vegan squalene in it which is in oil form also but overall all, this gives kind of normal to matte finish the consistency is really good it's like proper cream and that spreads really nicely and settles really nice and hydrating and 
mat also but at the same time this has really calming soothing ingredient that are great for repairing your damaged skin barrier if you have sensitized skin due to some reason maybe you have over exfoliated if you have um, some purging on your skin if you want to use some moisturizer after your exfoliating serums like retinol aha etc this is your person it has sika extract niacinamide vitamin c vegan squalane this has vegan peptides ceramides oat lipids and hyaluronic acid and there's no strong fragrance like there's a hint of something pleasant that i can't even identify so a really cool fuzz free hydrating moisturizer especially for summers acne prone skin and oily combination skin now if you have dry skin like me and you like really rich moisturizer or something really dewy and you know want to go extra and extra for moisturization then this is my recommendation i have been using this one since winters actually november or december and i have use a lot of it like half of the bottle is finished i use just one to two pumps every single time it's a really nice oil it's called joro oil or maybe horo oil because it's half jojoba oil and half it's rosehip oil i really 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 like rosehip oil because of how amazing it is for skin especially for pigmentation and you know sensitive skin making your skin barrier even stronger and this has jojoba as well so 50 50 of both of these and this is really light just a pump or two of that and just tap it on your face after moisturizer and your skin is so dewy so moisturized until in the morning so i usually use it at night and in fact i have shown this one on the dewy makeup um, video as well doing makeup on this one is a bliss like makeup goes on so smooth over this one which is what i prefer for my dry skin my skin is kind of dry and also acne prone it didn't break out my skin didn't cause any purging nothing this is just a fuzz free simple classic oil 50% jojoba 50% rosehip oil and the best part about this oil is that you don't really have to limit it for face only because it's just jojoba and rosehip you can put it on your scalp also you can put it on your hair also as a hair serum or hair oil for sealing the ends after hair wash and styling so this does a lot of job so this was my recommendation for best of cures for you these are the products i really liked and all the links are in the description box all the names all the links everything is in the description box if you have tried any of these products let me know your feedback in the comments for me as well as for other readers as well so i'll see you next time bye bye